Now, Chris, as you know, I was uh, raised as a Catholic, went yeah. to a Catholic school, so I have become very familiar with the church's seven deadly sins. Oh, uh, yes, uh, gluttony, lust, pride, etc. Yeah, et all the big ones. And in fact, my new favourite game is actually to watch MasterChef on Channel 10 and work out just how many of those sins Matt Preston commits during a single episode. It's a great game. See if you can play it. See, there we go. We've got sloth straight away. Uh, then you've got, obviously, glut greed. Uh, what have we got? Gluttony, gluttony, uh, gluttony, uh, gluttony again, bit <laughs> more gluttony. Uh, that's actually lust, interestingly. Uh, and then the big one, the one I really hate, wearing Ponzi cravats. Oh, that, oh, that, straight oh, to hell for that one. to hell for that one. one. But uh, look, uh, you do realise there's no longer just seven deadly sins. Mm. The church recently added seven more sins, much more modern sins, which include things like drug abuse and polluting the environment. Yeah, always good to keep it up to date. And my, my favourite one is actually number six. This is interesting. Excessive wealth. A mm. little bit much coming from the Catholic Church, I'd say. Probably the richest <laughs> institution in the world. Well, no one really knows just how rich the Church mm. is because the Vatican keeps its finances more secret than Paul Hogan. But it is clear uh, all their property and land assets, plus their corporate stakeholdings, they run well and truly into the trillions. They do. They? But Chris, you know, I do believe in the saving power of prayer. So I went to the opulent headquarters of the Catholic Church in Rome to see if I could find someone to do the good Christian thing and pray for a sinner. Good afternoon, Father. Excuse me. I wonder if you would be willing to join me in a prayer. What, what for? Sorry? What are we praying for? Uh, the sin of excessive wealth. Apparently it's a mortal sin now. And I mortal wanted... sin? Yeah. Excessive wealth? Yeah. Huh. And I wondered if, if you'd join me in a prayer. Sure. Let's don't mention them particularly by name. You okay. say you know somebody. Yeah, there. yeah. We won't mention them by name. All sure. right. I'll pray with you. Okay. Father, Let me find the Son of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Lord God, we ask your uh, sons of grace, the grace of resurrection, especially to deliver us from all evil. Thank you. We pray also for those who suffer from the sin of excessive wealth, uh, in particular uh, institutions which have a net global worth of more than $3 trillion per year. We pray for your investments in Rothschilds Bank and Credit Suisse. We pray also for your share investments in British oil, in Shell, in Gulf oil. We pray for the $15 billion in revenue which is raised annually from Australians. And we pray that you will recognise that the Roman Church, although it has committed the mortal sin of excessive wealth, is doing so in your name. And therefore, as the hypocrite that you are, you will forgive it. And we pray this in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you very much. A little bit of a political agenda there.